Whatever profession you're in, you have your dream. I would dream of being a head football coach. And the one constant in all of that is this was the place I was thinking about. Dreams do come true. Rutgers has their guy tonight. That's Greg Schiano, just 34 years old. He's young, but he's hungry, aggressive, very positive, and you can already sense the change in the attitude around the RU football program tonight. For the first time in years, there's hope with regards to the Scarlet Knights. News 12's Brian DiNovellis on campus today. This is where I started. This is what I've strived to get back to, this program. I'm thrilled to be here. It's time. Yes, it's time for Greg Schiano and Rutgers. Time for the 34-year-old from Wyckoff, who played at Ramapo High School, to become the 25th head football coach at Rutgers. Time for the State University of New Jersey to hire a New Jersey guy. It's home, and I thought, and I think, but you can do it here. I know you can do it here, and that's why I took the job. Were you thinking about it when Miami was beating Rutgers 64 to 6? No, because it's so hard to win it, it, every week that it takes all your concentration. But I would be a liar if I said after the game when I sat in the bus waiting to leave, that I didn't take a good hard look at the at the building and the facility and say someday maybe. That someday is today. And everyone associated with Rutgers football thinks Shiano is the man who can finally make Rutgers into a winner. Coach Shiano has us really excited, you know, coming from a great university and, uh, you know, number three, number three ranked team in the country. He's going to have a lot of momentum because he's a coach coming from Miami, and that's just, which is a good school and a good defensive school. So I know as far as the defensive side, I'm going to be really excited to play for him. Shiano has been an assistant coach in some capacity for the past 12 years. He's coached at the high school level right on up to the NFL with the Chicago Bears. But Rutgers is his first job as head coach. His experience being at programs that like Penn State and Miami and in major bowl games demonstrated he knew how to win on a major level. And those things were very important to me. And to win at Rutgers, Shiano knows he must be able to recruit in New Jersey. I'm close enough to their age that I can remember being recruited, and I can remember what you're looking for. And having recruited kids here for the last 10 years, I know what they want. My vision is to win the right way and to be successful here for a long time. It's not a quick fix. It's a permanent fix. Permanent fix for at least the next five years. That's how long Shiano's contract is for. Five years at $500,000 a year. And if you think, you know, if, you know, if you're a Rutgers student, an alumnus, or just a Rutgers football fan today, you can feel good about the direction of this program. And, Kurt, I'm not so sure that I could have said this five years ago. Yeah, I tend to agree with you. And it, right away we learned with Greg Shiano, very intense guy, very high energy guy. Kind of reminds me of when John Calipari took over the Nets, put the team on the map, got people talking again about the program and really you got to start in square one the talk is of the state today is Rutgers you football. Know, you bring up a good point John Calipari he used to say all the right things and certainly Greg Schiano is saying all the right things but I have a feeling this guy's gonna stay at Rutgers a little bit longer than John Calipari stayed at the Nets and one thing to know is that he wasn't even the first person interviewed by Mulcahy he was the last person interviewed but yet Mulcahy knew right when he was talking to him that night that this guy was special and this guy had something that the other candidates did not all right let's uh, hit the New Jersey recruiting angle here now Rutgers wants to get the state's high school coaches involved here as much as possible Possible, pave those recruiting roads, so to speak. In fact, there were several high school coaches at the news conference today, and Greg Schiano's already talked to him about keeping the state's players home for college. Well, he, he certainly asked for that. He said, you know, everyone wants to talk about uh, that we need to keep Jersey guys here, and you guys are clamoring for it, meaning the high school coaches. Now step up and help. There's just no question about the fact that we, we needed somebody that we believed in. Will the high school player seriously consider Rutgers at this point, maybe where they had it in the past? I don't think there's any question about that. I'm extremely happy for Greg and proud of him, but I'm, I'm just as happy for the Rutgers because I really feel confident uh, that now we can get it done. I know the high school coaches that were in that room, and I know most of the people I've talked to feel that Greg is a, I think it's a great pick. 
Sounds like he's already got the high school coaches in his corner, and that's a good first step. Absolutely, you need the high school coaches in your corner, and he knows that you know you're not going to land every you're not going to land every high school football recruit out there just because you know the coaches. It's up to the players to decide it. But he can sell Rutgers unlike any other coach before him. I think because he knows New Jersey, he's willing to to go out there and get these kids. And if you have those coaches on your side, that's a big first step, like you said. Yeah, and it took Terry Shea a couple years just to get to this point. So uh, Greg Schiano way ahead of the game, and it's only day one. But uh, Greg Schiano, the new football coach of the Scarlet Knights. Thanks, Brian. A uh, couple notes for you. The busy... Jerry's here to tell us about the new football coach at Rutgers. That's right. Miami's Greg Schiano is the man at Rutgers. Meet him next in sports. He's young, energetic, and promises to bring a, build a winning program at Rutgers. Greg Schiano was introduced as the new head coach for the Scarlet Knights today. At the ripe old age of 34, Greg Schiano emerges as one of the youngest Division I-A head coaches in the country, which is one of the things that makes him attractive to people around the Rutgers program. He is also from New Jersey, born in Wyckoff, Bergen County, and was a graduate assistant at Rutgers in 89 before heading to Penn State as an assistant, from there to the Chicago Bears, and on to the University of Miami. Am I concerned with lack of experience and age? No. When you sit down with Greg Schiano, you quickly realize that this young man is so much more than just an impressive resume. He has been preparing for this day since he embarked on his coaching career. Much to the contrary, his youth is a major asset. He has a plan, he has a vision, and quite simply, he is the right man for the job. This is where I started. This is what I've strived to get back to this program. I'm thrilled to be here. It's time. Bob mentioned it. He came here two and a half years ago and he put a fence up around New Jersey. We are going to recruit the state of Rutgers. The state of Rutgers. What's more, Shiano talks of building a strong relationship with New Jersey's high school coaches. To that end, he met with a group of them today before his introduction as head coach. There will be a point in time where he's going to get right down and look a guy in the eye and say, hey, I took a shot at Rutgers. I gave him a lot at the University of Miami to come here. You need to do that too, and let's get it done together. Not every kid will come here. And that never will happen. Okay, there's some kids that just have a passion to go somewhere else since they were, you know, a little, a little guy, and they're going to do what they're going to do. What we need to do is make sure that we get the majority of the really good players that come out of New Jersey. They need to come to Rutgers. And he will be a very busy man over the next few days because the recruiting period begins now, so he has to build a staff and all that. Indeed, he will be. Thank mm -hmm. you, Jerry. A sunny and crisp day. Greg Schiano added four assistants to his staff a couple days ago. Today, he tried to enlist over a hundred others. Every high school football coach in New Jersey was invited to campus this evening to talk about recruiting. Over a hundred guys showed up. You got to get the coaches in your corner if you're going to get the kids. And Shiano told us he considers all these guys are you staff members. It used to be back in the old days, Coach Miello, who was my coach, would tell me, hey, you didn't even have to watch film. You'd go ask the guys that you trusted and they'd tell you who the players were and that's the way you did it. And that's what we have to have. If we can get all these coaches in New Jersey really truly part of Rutgers, we'll have a network going in this state that'll be unbeatable the hope and we'll have more on this Rutgers high school relationship Sunday night for you on the Jersey sports final Greg Schiano taking a grassroots approach to recruiting you'll hear about it Sunday night